Your call has been forwarded. At the tone, please record your message. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this reversible peplum top. If this is something you're interested in, please continue watching up until the end. Let's get started. You're going to bring in your basic bodice, the front part, and then you're going to trace off from the shoulder up until your waistline. Do not include the dot. When you've traced everything out, you're just going to bring in your tape and that from that shoulder line, you're going to mark in one inch and then you're going to go down and on the screen uh, how you're going to calculate that waist circumference point and then I got 9, 8 comma something but then I am using 9 centimeters. I'm going to bring in my ruler and connect those two marks in a straight line. When I'm done connecting that line, I'm going to bring in my tape and from my waistline, I'm going to go up by 2 inches. The reason why I went up by 2 inches is because later on, we're going to be adding a belt and the width of my belt is 2 inches. So I need to remove that 2 inches so that, so that I don't have extra excess. So I'm going to bring in my tape and measure one inch from the starting line and this will serve as our back neckline. Then I am going to bring in my ruler and just make the lines a bit visible using my marker pen. So the green is for the front and then the red is for the back. Then when I'm done doing indicating all of the necklines with um, my markers, I am going to bring in my tracing ruler. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trace from the waist to the side to the shoulder point and also the neckline as well. Only the red part. This is me indicating that this is the front part and how many pieces of this should I cut. Before you use your tracing, you make sure that you have another paper that you place under that front part. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure that these two papers align. And then after that, that is when I'm going to trace. Now when you're done, when you remove the top part, you realize that on the bottom paper, the tracing will create like mini holes. Um, unfortunately you cannot see it from this part but then I'm just gonna use my red marker to just make the lines visible like I did with the front I'm going to indicate that this is my bag and you need to cut it on a fold so that means I need to cut one piece so I'm just gonna come in with my tape and measure one centimeter that I'll be using as my seam allowance I'm also going to do the same for the front part. I'm going to use my tape and measure one centimeter for seam allowance. Please look at what I'm doing. I am now marking one centimeter from that green line. I'm no longer considering that red line because remember that was um, the neckline for the back part. done connecting the lines I'm just gonna bring in my scissor and cut off the back and the front part Go 
this I am going to be cutting my peplum directly from fabric I'm going to use this A4 paper just to show you how you're going to fold your fabric so you're gonna fold it into two parts and then fold it like so and then when you're done you're going to make sure that the top parts are the ones that are not open and then to create our flare or our peplum skirt the calculations for that is your waist divided by 6 comma 284 and then the number you get there you're just gonna essentially mark it like so make sure that your tape is on that point as you can see on the screen then when you're done you're just gonna connect the lines like so and then from that line that we made you're gonna determine how long you want it to be I made mine I think 18 centimeters and I added one centimeter for seam allowance So this is how it should look like when you're done with it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring in my fabric so i'm making use of two different fabrics since this is a reversible so it requires two different fabrics but you can totally make use of one fabric just make sure that you use the fabric to line your top part and also your peplum section so what i'm going to do after i've aligned everything i'm just going to bring in my scissor and just remove the parts that i'm not going to be using and I'm also going to bring in my pin because fabric has a tendency of moving when you're cutting it. I'm just going to bring in my calculator and just calculate everything. Remember that the formula that I'm using here is the one I showed you when I was demonstrating how to cut this on an A4 paper. I'm done pinning everything I'm just gonna bring in my tape and measure 11 centimeters because that is the number I got after I divided my waist by 6 comma 24 and then the length I made it 18 centimeters and then I'm just gonna add one centimeter for seam allowance I'm using my scissor to remove the fabrics that I'm not going to need So I'm just adding my one centimeter seam allowance here. I'm gonna bring in my scissor again and just cut on that one centimeter line. If you did your calculations properly, this is how it is supposed to look. And when you're done cutting everything, make sure that you cut the black and the blue part together. So this is how both these fabrics are supposed to look and when you're done I am going to use a scissor just to cut an opening on one end of each fabric. I'm going to bring in my tape as well just to measure the peplum to make sure that it is actually my waist. I realized that at this point I had excess. Because I made a notch on way my waistline ends i'm just gonna take a ruler and draw a straight line and then i'm gonna use that part that i cut out to cut out on the black and white fabric so that everything is equal then i'm gonna bring in my black fabric and my blue fabric please make sure that it is on a fold because our back part we're going to cut it on a fold and requires just one full back piece so I'm just going to pin everything and cut it out as you can see. Remember this should be on a fold. Then I'm going to bring in my front piece and for the front piece I need to cut out a total of 4 pieces. So 2 black fabrics and 2 blue fabrics. So I'm just going to bring in that pattern and just pin everything together. So at this point I marked out a 1cm um, seam allowance. But then later on, I just cut off that one centimeter because I just wanted the opening to be a bit 
open i don't know if that makes sense but i just wanted the opening of the peplum in front not to be too closed up but to be open a little bit so off camera and on my interfacing on all my pieces except the black and white front parts bring in my blue front parts and I'm gonna place them right side facing each other and I'm just gonna use my pin to pin them together so that they do not move and to make sure that everything is aligned properly and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch using a one centimeter allowance what I did on the blue part I'm going to do on the black part So I joined everything off camera and this is how it's supposed to look. And I'm going to bring in the blue part, right side facing each other, I'm going to place it on top of the black one. Please make sure you attach everything properly, make sure that your shoulder points are aligned properly, your neck part is aligned properly. This part, honestly, your pins are going to be your best friend because they will help you in terms of making sure that when you take this to your machine, it does not move. So I'm just going to essentially pin everywhere. When you're done pinning this is how it should look so i pinned everywhere else except the bottom parts of the front and of the back you need to leave an opening there because this will help in terms of turning your top part or your pinafore for that matter so i off camera i stitched everything like so and i'm just gonna bring in my scissor and just cut off the excess fabric the neckline I'm just gonna make tiny incisions please when you do this be very careful that you don't cut on your thread when you're done removing the excess fabrics and making those incisions on your neckline you're going to put your hand on the space that we left open that we didn't sew on and then you're gonna use those openings to flip your pinafore as you can see on the screen And this is how it's supposed to look when you're done turning it so i'm just going to bring in my scissor and just push out that point so that it is pointy when you're done pushing that point i'm going to take this to my ironing board and then this part is very important please make sure when you iron that the black part is not showing on the blue part so make sure that the blue fabric stays on the blue side and the black fabric stays on the black side and none of the fabrics are peeking in peeking on each side I'm not sure if what I said makes sense but this will help in terms of making your reversible effect so I'm using my pencil just to push that part out and then I'm just going to continue ironing. As you can see the blue part doesn't show on the black part. So you're going to make sure as you iron the remaining parts of this pinafore that the blue part stays on the blue side and the black side stays on the black side. Honestly I'm not sure if what I'm saying makes sense but then yeah.
when you're done ironing this is how it's supposed to look the blue is not supposed to show on the black and the black is not supposed to show on the blue side so i am going to put that aside and bring in our circle skirt or in this case our peplum part and then because i don't want it to be pointy when i join the circle skirts together what i'm going to do is i'm just going to draw in a curve because i want it to be a bit curved this is optional if you don't want to do this you don't have to but personally i just want it to be curved instead of it being pointed I'm drawing that cap out and I'm just gonna join the circle skirt or the peplum part with my pins like so again your pins are going to be your best friend at this part as you pin just make sure that everything is um, aligning properly so I'm gonna start pinning from the sides all the way to the other side leaving the open part open as you can see there is excess the blue part seems to be a bit longer than the black part the reason why i think it's because when i was cutting this the fabric shifted so that is why it is like this but it's not a train smash you can just cut off the excess and just make sure that everything is aligned properly and is the same so like I said, you're going to pin everything else and leave the top part open because you're also going to use that top part to turn our circle skirt. So off, off camera, I stitched everything together from that corner to the bottom up until the other end of the corner. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be creating tiny incisions like we did with our neckline when we are doing the top. And again, please make sure that you are not cutting on your thread. Because we left the top part open, it is easy now to just flip this to the right side. And like we did with our top part, I am going to do the same with this peplum. I am going to make sure when I'm ironing it that the blue stays in the blue and the black stays in the black. So I ironed this off camera and this is how it looks. As you can see that the seams are now laying down nicely. So when I'm done with this, I'm just going to put it aside and bring in my belt. So the width of my belt is 2 inches and how long it is, it is actually or it is supposed to be your waist measurement multiplied by 2. So I am making use of 70 centimeters as my waist. So I'm going to multiply 70 by 2. So because the fabric was not enough, I had to join them together to get. Now I am just going to cut off excess fabrics. When I am done doing so, I am just going to find the center of that peplum. So I already ironed out uh, the middle point of those peplums. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my blue belt and I need to make sure that the blue side it is facing the blue side and the black belt it is on the black side. And they need to be right side facing each other. So what I'm going to do is with these pearls I am going to sandwich that peplum into these two belts. As you can see me doing, I am just sandwiching that peplum using these two belts.
just going to pin all the way until we get to the end of our belt and then what I am going to do is I am just going to sew using a one centimeter stitching allowance I'm going to leave the top part open and then off camera I just joined everything and I ironed the seams flat again just showing you that you need to leave that top part open and then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna mark where the middle point is so I'm going to move that skirt and bring that top part that we did I'm just gonna align everything nicely and off camera I ironed out the middle of that back point and I also made a notch as well and this will help in terms of making sure that everything is aligned properly so because I've already made a marking of where my middle point on the peplum is I am just gonna um, mark out one no not one inch actually half an inch um, because that's how far I want this thing to go into the belt um, what I'm saying doesn't make sense but as the video proceeds you're going to see what I mean so I'm just gonna do that on both the blue part and also the black part and just joining the dots together creating a straight line So I'm going to bring in my peplum and what I'm going to do is I am going to sandwich that bottom part. The line that we made is the on that line I am going to put the belt there. Um, if you don't understand what I mean just watch what I am doing. So the belt needs to be on top of that line that we made and make sure that your back middle part matches the peplum middle part and then i'm just gonna pin everything like so then what i'm going to do i'm just going to bring in that front part um how you're going to put this is you're gonna make sure that your top part aligns with where the peplum ends so now I'm just making sure that it is in line with where the peplum ends. Just watch what I'm doing to get a better understanding of what I am saying. So I'm just using my ruler to make sure that everything is lined up properly. done pinning everything you're just gonna take this your sewing machine and top stitch on that top part up until the edge of your belt and then when you're done doing that you are done with your peplum top thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video please don't forget to subscribe like and turn on your notification button and also to comment on the comment section